Hi guys, this is Kirsten, and today I'm going to be doing a pen review for you guys. I'm going to get a little closer, get a little up close and personal. I was shooting a haul, so I needed a little more space to show things. But um, the pens that I'm going to be reviewing are the Recollection 20 Piece Fine Tip Pen. Woo! That's a quite a name for quite a product. So let's just get into it, shall we? I love these. I've mentioned these in at least no less than like three videos. Um, so you can tell I am a bit obsessed with them. I have like from the moment I saw them across the room, I knew I had to have them. So first, let me just get into the physical description. You can see it, but I want to further explain it. Basically, it's nice, sleek packaging, very lightweight. It has the barrel, the majority of the color is like this gray, semi-matte finish, and then all of them have these nice, nice coordinating colored tops and bottoms. And like a hexagon barrel, it's just, it's very interesting, but it writes really nicely. So actually, so now on to how they actually perform. I'm gonna go in with the pros, and there are a few cons. Like with everything, there's usually some cons, but they're not really that big. So the pros, the price is a gigantic, gigantic pro. These retail normally for $4.95, but since they are at Michael's, Michael's always has coupons, especially if you have their app, they always have coupons. These are I got for $3. So you get 20, 20 colors for less than five dollars usually that is amazing like i don't know what other place or what other type of pen you'll be able to get with this much of variety for that low cost another pro is they're super super fine tipped i forgot to show you in their in my description of them they are uber uber tiny it's just so so teeny and tiny and fine so they are like really really nice to like annotate things let's say you're in class and you want to write in like an article or even your textbook if you're so brave these are super super fine and they get right in there the even the lighter colors they're great for highlighting so each one is functional in their own way because you wouldn't normally think a neon yellow would be that great to write with because it's not but it's great for highlighting teeny tiny little things so that's wonderful the ink is very very vibrant um they are absolutely superb let me show you this was all written in these pens my my camera's not giving it justice it's really vibrant and inky but it does not bleed through at all which is wonderful because a lot of fine tipped ones especially like the sharpie ones i know they claim to be like no transfer or no bleed but they they do especially with like thinner paper these not that problem and you might be thinking well then that must mean that they don't have that much ink they'll probably waste it a long time you don't have them that long so how can you say they last a long time um because my little cousin and my sister have had these for about a month and my little cousin uses them as like drawing utensils she uses them as like to color in and to draw and they still work perfectly fine after like heavy duty coloring and using them so that's how i know they last a long time they're great for like a starter kit if you're trying to get into color coding or you just want a lot of versatile like versatility in your color this is these are great it comes from brown neon orange to gray like i've never even had a gray pen in my life they're also very cute i <laughs> think just aesthetically they're very lovely and uniform and it just looks very nice especially in like a pencil case they'll look very festive that's all all the cons i mean there's so so much more but basically they're very very functional very good bang for your buck and i think if you're just a pen enthusiast these are definitely worth a go. One of the cons though is they're only available in Michaels so if you don't have a Michaels anywhere near you this is kind of going to be a pain. I don't know if you can buy them online but that's kind of a pain. Also the colors can be slightly repetitive. I mean there's a three blues, there's three greens, there's two different types of purple, two different types of red, two different types of yellow. So you kind of, you know, because there's 20 colors of course there's going to be repetition but each shade is pretty much distinct. So that's, I mean it's, it's kind of repetitive and especially if you don't use like three different types of green like you don't need them that much. 
but it gives you a lot of variety and you can kind of split these up and it makes it so like if I wanted to take some of these to school I won't be like losing if I lose one I will have something similar to back up another thing is that these tops and you know how you usually just do this this one does but not all of them do that it's kind of like a hit or miss that they attach to, to the bottom so I mean that's kind of a con especially if you're gonna be out and about and you want to have all of these colors with you you can easily lose a top and that will be a pain in the behind but I since I use these primarily at home that's not m that much of a big deal for me but other than those like three I think very small cons I really really like these I like these way better than the sharpie pen and I think that they last a lot longer and they give you a lot more variety than they have. They compare to like let's say the Pilot G2 they're not as inky they're not as you know solid of a line but it's still really really good. I mean those pens are like the top of like the fine tipped pen but these are really 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 just great I think they're just wonderful I have very little negative hopefully I helped you in some way make up your mind about these pens or brought them to your attention if you had no idea they existed like I did but yeah please like comment and subscribe for more videos and I will hopefully see you guys later bye <laughs>